It's never easy for Navy families when loved ones deploy, and it's even harder around the holidays. Some 300 sailors on the USS Howard left this morning on deployment. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence has the tribute that the crew does every time it sails past Fort Rosecrans. A picture to freeze the moment, because when Charles Leader returns, his 15-month-old will have certainly changed. Whether the first or seventh deployment, as it is for the ship's captain, it is the ones left behind who feel it the most. Just knowing that they're missing him, and I have to fill them up with love a lot. <laughs> Many planned ahead, knowing the deployment was coming. So we did a little early, so, you know, the kids still, still got it in with me, the presents and stuff, so... It still worked out. Wow. Yes, we do. We did Thanksgiving twice as like a Thanksgiving and then a Christmas dinner. <laughs> Even so, it's going to be tough to be away. For some of the sailors, this deployment is a first, but not for the ship, which has a unique connection to San Diego. Hi, hi, sir. The ship was commissioned in October 2001. On hand for the ceremony was Teresa Howard, the wife of Jim Howard, the ship's namesake. A Silver Star and Purple Heart recipient in Korea, the Marine Gunny Sergeant then went to Vietnam and earned a Medal of Honor. Described as a Marine's Marine, he's buried at Fort Rosecrans. Every time we sail out the harbor, we, uh, we render honors to him. He earned his Medal of Honor over in Vietnam on top of Hill 488. We first met the family in 2001 when the ship arrived for the first time. Both Jim and Teresa Howard have since passed, but family ties still run deep. Had the Howard sisters on board earlier, and it's, it's, it's a real proud legacy to have the ship named that throne. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. That sound. The 292 sailors aboard the ship are headed to the Western Pacific on an independent deployment.